A quick update for you, and Chuck, you may remember this, and folks, if you're listening, you follow our show. You may a couple of months or so ago, and we've couple we've updated this a couple of times. Uh, a couple in Louisville paid fifty thousand dollars for updates and repairs to a house, and then the contractor took the money and promptly walked off with it. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. They they tr- paid money to try to track the guy down. Well, it happens that this week I met with the couple, and they in fact have found the contractor who appears to be still in business, and they're waiting for legal action against the contractor to be taken. So, uh, Chuck, I'm just wondering. Is there anything they should be doing while they are waiting for the next step on this? Well, if you track him down, next thing is start finding out if he's got anything. Yeah, that's what I think they're looking for. Yeah, yeah. you you, you try and find that, find out where he lives, see who owns that house. Uh, Did they put it in the wife's name? When did they do that? Is it, you know, uh, just all kinds of stuff. But once uh, the attorney actually files the lawsuit, then all that kind of stuff is discoverable. So uh, they'll be in a good spot Good. as long as he has assets. As long as the contractor has assets and they can figure out where those assets are. 